One of the main functions of the business intelligence team, the BI team, is to provide the right information to the right people at the right time. And 99% of the time, this comes in the form of well-designed, structured, and built dashboards. Oh, as well as reports. There are a lot of challenges in getting that deliverable right in the minimum amount of iterations with or without working in an agile environment. Okay, I won't cover those right now as that's not the scope of the video, but one of the factors contributing to the success of delivering these dashboards is the overall stakeholders of the project. You know, who are those people? So here are the five key stakeholders that you should have in your project if you want to develop and deliver a successful dashboard. First one is the owner. Arguably the most important stakeholders as without ownership, there can be a lack of accountability, direction, risk mitigation, and potential scope creep. That's because the owner's responsibilities are the following. They need to understand and approve the requirements which define the overall scope of the project. In our case, this dashboard. They also provide the final sign off of the dashboard. They also make decisions regarding any change requests and recommend which business stakeholders to participate in testing sessions. Lastly, they really act as the decision maker when risks, assumptions, and scope creep needs to be addressed. So definitely always have and identify who is the owner of that dashboard. The second stakeholder is the analyst, also called a report analyst, but they can also often be or go by a business analyst or even a system analyst. They really tend to create the conduit between the business requirements and the technical requirements. So what are their main responsibilities? Well, they're eliciting the business requirements and project deliverables, but they also provide input on requirements and requirement priorities. A lot of times they actually even tend to design the dashboard mockup. They also put together those project requirements by defining milestones, deliverables, and resources, and monitor and report on progress. Yes, I know that's usually what the project manager does, but in here, I think we can just merge the two roles into the one. And lastly, they compile test cases and conduct test sessions. The third stakeholder is the developer themselves. Now this one should be obvious, but I've included it in this list as it's a critical stakeholder to have. One or more individuals are tasked with successfully developing and deploying the dashboard. Of course, based on the needed business requirements and specifications. So their responsibilities, well, to develop, to also test and deploy the dashboard and any supporting data artifacts, for example, data marts, ETLs, table views, etc. They should also put together some documentation like code commenting and ETL rules, the data model even, so forth and so on. They tend to provide input into test cases and data sets to be used because they have quite a bit of knowledge in that and provide input into any risks, assumptions, dependencies, and deliverables resulting from the business and project requirements. The fourth, the business stakeholder. I mean, most of the time, this is the primary end user of the dashboard, but their responsibilities are reviewing business requirements to ensure that nothing is missed from their perspective, provide clarification and input on requirements, as well as the drivers behind them and the requirements priorities. They provide test cases as well and participate in those testing sessions. And they send feedback on issues, on usability, accessibility, etc., all around the dashboard. Lastly, you would have the subject matter expert. And this is a subset of the business stakeholders, but you should at least have one go-to subject matter expert to get inputs from and clarifications. And their responsibilities, well, they're going to provide detailed input and clarification on test cases, key requirements, as well as risks. They will review business requirements to ensure nothing is missed from their perspective, so similar to the business stakeholder. And they will raise any risks, assumptions, dependencies that they might be aware of, which 
really relate to the scope of their expertise as well as the scope of the dashboard. As a conclusion, in my opinion, these are the five types of stakeholders that are key in having in order to ensure the success of developing and deploying that right dashboard for the right people in the right way. What do you think? Do you currently have a dedicated tester or a project manager? Or do you pair those responsibilities with one of the stakeholders that I mentioned in this video? Don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it and please click the subscribe and bell buttons as it would really help me out. Thank you.